Hey guys, and welcome back to this 12th tutorial in MATLAB. Today, we're going to talk about something called cells. And cells are, well, creating cells is a technique for partitioning up your MATLAB code. You can partition your code in such a way that you can run individual parts of your code independently from one another. So, it allows you to examine different parts of your code to see if it's working correctly. Why don't we see what this means? Um, well, by always creating a new function. So, back up at the top under File, New, let's create a new function. And again, we have our standard template for a function. And let's just create a function with no return values and no supplied arguments again. And just to examine cells, why don't we create four statements and we'll say a equals 1, b equals 2, c equals 3, and d equals 4. Now there's a couple ways to create cells and what you need to do are, is create the are create cell breaks. You need to break your code up so that you can break it up into cells. You can either create a cell break by going up here to the top and clicking insert cell break which corresponds to two percentage signs. So this highlighted portion here is one cell and this is another cell. These lines, these separating lines indicate where your cells are. But um, to create cell breaks you can also just type in the percentage signs manually like so. So I'm just gonna break each one of these statements up into its own individual cell. Well, actually, why don't we break it up like this? So we have a cell for a equal 1, b equal 2, and a final cell for c equals 3 and d equals 4. Okay, well, we can run this code. First, we have to save the, the function, I guess. Right now, it's title untitled 2, which is okay, I suppose. But when we run this, just in the typical manner by selecting run, it runs through everything. But if we wanted to run an individual cell and we didn't want to run this entire set of code, all these statements, just highlight the cell that you want to run and you can either go up here in the cell and evaluate current cell and do it this way. As you see, b equals 2. That's the statement where the cell, the cell we're currently in, where the this blinking cursor is or we can select one of these buttons here. Now MATLAB has a million ways of doing the same thing as I mentioned before but um, I suppose this might be easier. Evaluate current cell just by clicking this button and as you can see we can just run this cell block as many times as we want without having to um, without having to execute any of these other cells. So if I put my cursor down here in the bottom cell I'm evaluating c equals 3 and d equals 4 repeatedly. But I'm not proceeding to the next cell. If you did want to proceed to the next cell, then you would want to use this statement. Evaluate current cell in advance. So if I press this, we have b equals 2, and the cursor is moved on to the next cell. And then if we simply go back and evaluate this cell, we don't proceed and complete the function we just keep evaluating the final cell. But, um, let's see here. We, we also have options in here to disable cell mode. Not sure why you would want to do that, but you can if you like. And we can also go up here and select these buttons to go up to a previous cell. But I suppose it's probably a lot easier to just click on it, probably. I don't know why they would include those buttons, but they're there. Anyhow, um, this is a quick introduction to what cells are, and it's a, another useful means for examining and debugging your code. But um, we'll examine a little bit more what we can do with um, cell division in the next tutorial. Um, until then, adios, and well, take it easy.